Hi, this is Ed Gregory for Photos in Colour and today I'm going to show you how to use the Hue, Saturation and Luminance panel in Lightroom. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so before we jump into this tutorial, we kind of need to understand what is Hue, Saturation and luminance that it's very simple basically the hue is what the color is and you can move the hue and change the actual color so red you could go more towards orange or more towards pink okay for a green you could go more towards yellow or more towards blue and you can actually change that when we look at saturation that is how much power or how saturated a color is. So a green, you can make it really green, so greener, or less green, less saturated, more towards grayscale, okay? And then the final one is luminance, and that is how bright the actual image is. So you can reduce it and make the color darker, or you can make it lighter. And this tool is really powerful in Lightroom because it means you can make very specific adjustments to an image. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a quick look. So today we are going to be working with this image just here of the Las Vegas Strip. Now the reason we're using this, this is Bellagio, the reason we're using this is because there's lots of different colors in it so I can explain. Hue, saturation and color is on the right hand side here under this section here called HSL, color and BMW. Now HSL means that this is gonna show all of them together, hue, saturation and luminance, or you can just go through and have each of them selected okay and then you can choose color or black and white we're going to use hsl as the most basic one and we're going to show all now for all of these sliders there are different ways of actually moving the slider so first of all you can grab this and slide it to the right or the left really easy you can double click or you can click on a part of it and it will jump straight to that double click on the name and it resets it to zero or you can click on the, the number here and actually drag to the left or drag to the right, which will actually do it. Or you can just type in a number over that side just there. And that works exactly the same for every single one of these sliders. So let's work through this and actually have a look. So we'll start off with hue. So as I explained before, this actually is what is the color that we're talking about? So if we were to look at blue, there's lots of blues down here in the water and also these hotels here. So if I was to go to the blue channel, and now if I was to slide this more towards the green, if we look at those areas, only the blue is now going green. If I go the other way, more towards the purple, you're gonna look at those cut buildings and they're gonna go purple. Yet. The greens, absolutely nothing has changed. Neither have the reds down here. Okay, so let's reset this one here to the beginning by double clicking the name. And let's do the same thing with the reds. And for this, we, let's zoom down here and we'll look at the red cars at the bottom here. We're gonna take the red channel and watch this. We can go this way and make the cars orange. Or we go to the left and we're going to make them go pink. And that's just the red colors there. Now, if we look at the yellow, just here, we go to the yellow channel, and we can make that car go green. Uh, sorry, it's actually, it's an orange in color. We can make it go more yellow, or we can make it go more red. Really simple, we're just changing those colors, whereas nothing else is actually changing. So let's reset those. So that is how we change the hue of something. The next section is saturation. Now this is how powerful it is. So again, let's look at the blues over here and let's take the blue channel and we'll make the blues more saturated and if we watch this the blues are getting stronger yet the reds and the yellow down here is staying the same or we can make the blues go less powerful and we can actually go all the way and make them black and white or grayscale which is really simple and so again let's go down to the cars and let's show you exactly the same thing on the reds here let's take the reds and let's make them black and white or let's go up here and make it even more strong. Now you'll see it doesn't get rid of everything, there's some patches because actually those sections come under magenta. So we always have to remember that sometimes these elements, they, they have multiple different colors in them. So it's not going to be perfect and you can end up with quite a lot of noise by doing this, but it's some great things to do. Now the final thing here 
is luminance and luminance is basically how much brightness there is so let's again let's look at these blues and we'll go to the blue channel and we're just going to make them lighter and as you see all of the blues here go oh sorry go brighter or we make them go darker really simple and now let's come down to the bottom the red and the yellow the red make them go darker or make them go lighter and the yellows we can make them go darker or lighter really really simple and that's basically the HSL, Hue, Saturation and Luminance, and how powerful it is in Lightroom. Now you can get creative and do anything you want to do with these, making really fine detail changes to your photographs. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And also, and that's it really. My name is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Thank you so much.